So I think, I mean, trust is, is oftentimes a big barrier. So a lot of people are very surprised when they hear that almost 100% of my clients are actually Arab, mostly Kuwaiti. And they say, well, Kuwaitis usually want to go to a Western person. I say, if they, don't, if they don't trust you, then they will, right? So I think, it's, I think it's important to have trust. It's important to be personable. It's important to, you know, not just think in terms of the perspective of the provider, but also the pr- perspective of the client that's seeking help. So, so I think in as much as things are seen as, you know, commercial, uh, then people are going to be less trusting of it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think the more you respect the person, so instead of having like a clinic that's in a small place, you know, hidden away so people don't see you, that reinforces it. And also, you know, in Kuwait specifically, there was research that was done about what the biggest barrier was to seek mental health. And the biggest barrier was interaction with a bad mental health practitioner. Because the, we have a situation in Kuwait where people get licensed when they don't have the qualifications. Because they've lowered the barrier for qualification because of the invasion in 1990, a lot of people came up seeking help, but there wasn't enough qualified people to do it. And so people were getting licensed when they shouldn't have been. And so, because of that, a lot of people have been turned away and turned off from mental health services. Uh, and so, in as much as you respect them by giving them care that is actually well thought out, well prepared, done by licensed professional staff in a beautiful setting, you respect them, they'll respect the process.